Hey guys, welcome to my video. For today's tutorial, I will be teaching you how to make quad stitch ribbing. To begin, all you're going to need is some yarn and a crochet hook. For this tutorial, you will need to know how to make chains, you will need to know how to make the quad stitch, and you will need to know how to work in the back loops. I have tutorials on all of those and I will have them listed down below. I have already made a little test swatch here using two different colors, so it's going to be easy to see how the stitch is going to be made. I will have the yarn that I'm using and the hook that I'm using listed down below. For the body of my test swatch, I have already made quad uh, stitch ribbing. You can see that there's little ridges in each of the rows. And then on the row that I'm currently working, I have already made five chains because the quad stitch is so tall. So I'm going to go ahead and begin. You're going to start by working quad stitches um, and you're going to work into the back loops. So you are going to work right into this stitch right here, right? And then you're going to start making quad stitches. Whenever I make quad stitches, I always want to yarn over my hook four times because quad, <laughs> but it's only three times. And you're just going to work quad stitches into the back loops of each stitch on this row. You can already see how it's creating a little ridge right here because we're working into the back loops. I've got to get more yarn. going to continue that till the end of your row working quad stitches into the back loops of each stitch Okay, and you can see since we work in the back loops, it did create this ridge right here. If you turn your work over, you can see that there's ridges on each of the rows right here. And you can see that the ribbing is very like squishy and stretchy. And that's what you want for your ribbing effect. So you would then continue to repeat the same row that we worked. You would then chain five and work quad stitches into the each of the stitches into the back loops to create this ribbing effect. And that is going to be how to make quad stitch ribbing. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please like and subscribe for more from me. Please leave me feedback down below on future videos you would like to see, tutorials, patterns, whatever you guys want. Please follow me on all social media at Crochet Me Lovely, all one word. Thank you guys so much for being here. Have a great day.